What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to enable or activate the footer sections into Enzo free WordPress team by Visual Moto. By default the themes comes with this copyright section onto the footer but we can enable sections, extra section and fully customizable sections in order to apply WIDI gets inside of it and create the site footer section. And to do this we're gonna need to go to WordPress dashboard. Just before, take a look into the widgets and review that there's no footer tabs to apply widgets yet. Now let's activate it on WP dashboard appearance customize. And once on customize, click on footer. And here you can see a couple of sections to enable the footer columns and the footer widgets applicable contents and rows. We, as soon as we click into one of the sections, we have a couple of, we can activate a section, change the columns layout, the padding, the style, and even the margin. Actually, we have four sections. The bottom I'm gonna explore later, but it's the section where we have the copyright content but we're gonna explore this in another video tutorial. By default, I'm gonna be enabling the main footer section. We can choose the amount of columns and the layout of the columns. You can change the vertical alignment and the layout style, and even the age. No need to customize, but it's good to have the content. Let's save this so we can apply some widgets and after this edit a little bit. Now let's go back to appearance widgets and now we can see three new tabs that we can click to expand and click into the plus button to apply widgets on it. I'm gonna apply a latest post, the categories and the tag cloud, one in each of the footer columns. We did choose three columns for our main footer section, so we have three new tabs and we can apply widgets in every single one. You can type to search for the widgets and apply after this, make sure that you click on update and let's refresh the page. And here's the result we have. Let me refresh a little bit more. And we have the latest posts, the categories and a tag cloud. Now let's go back to the customize section into the footer so we can change a little bit the columns and review other options. It's easier to change the layout once we have content on it. Here's our new footer section. Let's change the columns layout. And here's the result. Sometimes WordPress did not refresh uh, on every single click on update. So we need to publish and go to the live site so we can see the result happening. No need to worry, your changes are having effect, but WordPress works like this in some hosts and in some cases. Depends on the amount of settings that you are editing. To better show this, I should have added more content, but this is the widget of the content and the style. We can change the H. Just remember that every single widget gets that you apply into this footer have a H by default. So this may not have effect if the H is equal of the already token one. We can change the padding, but to see the results, we need to refresh the page. and even apply some margin. I do not want this, but it's good to have the option for some projects that you're gonna need it. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress teams and download our free WordPress team on wordpress.org, call it Enzo. And I see you later. All the best.